There we go. Uh oh, oh boy. knew it. Oh, this is a team challenge. I hate team challenges. A team challenge, you have to give up some control. I'm used to being by myself. I like cooking alone. I hate putting my fate in the hands of other people. We are now down to the top 16 home cooks to the extraordinary 10th season of MasterChef. Woo! Come on. Yeah! Tonight, you have a team challenge. And the challenge you face tonight, the biggest risk that I personally have ever taken in this competition. Oh. But first, let's divide up into teams. From Bree to the right, you're the red team. From Michael to the left, you're the blue team. Please put on your aprons. It's a team challenge, and you better get your team on point, or you're not going to have immunity. That's the bottom line. I was on the losing team the first time. But I'm not used to losing. So at this point, I'm just hoping I'm on the right team. Good team red redemption. Team here. redemption. Let's go. Now, all of you, take a look around. Because your future in this competition depends on these people. But there is one very important aspect that is still up in the air. Your captains, who today will have a lot riding on their shoulders. Because those captains are heading to a restaurant. And let me tell you something, it's one of the best in all of Los Angeles. It's a restaurant that I happen to know very, very well because we will be going to my restaurant, Osteria Mozza. Wow. Let's go, Joe. Two captains will have to learn how to make a gourmet, authentic, three-course Italian meal. Ooh. So cool. You will then have to come back here and teach the entire team how to execute that meal for us. Awesome. Let's do it. Ooh. This is the 10th anniversary of MasterChef. In none of those 10 years of MasterChef have I ever, ever brought amateur home cooks into the kitchen of my restaurant. Love that. Let's roll. Now, if you think you have what it takes to lead your team to victory and you want to be the captain, raise your hands. <laughs> right, hands down. Convince us and Joe especially, why you should be the captain. To start, I'm Italian. Um, <laughs> no, Done deal. Sign him up. It's fair, that, right? That already um, qualifies you for many things, but continue. I have not lost any challenge in the MasterChef kitchen yet. Mm. I have also worked in several restaurants, including a three Michelin starred kitchen for a month this summer. Good stuff. For starters, I'm literally a captain. You are a captain. <laughs> as long as we communicate, I feel like I can run this team straight to victory. Interesting. I'd love to uh, get in your restaurant and learn. I have leadership skills. I think I'm a great communicator. I run a business. I have more employees than teammates right now, which means, you know, I know how to do this. Compelling, because uh, running a business is a big part of restaurants. Suba, you're the only one who doesn't raise your hand. You don't want to hang out with me? I thought me and you in my car we could be pretty good. Sexy Suba and Jazzy <laughs> Joe down Highland <laughs> Boulevard. Sexy Suba and no. Jazzy Joe. Leadership is all about leading when needed and following when needed to be. That's admirable. Appreciate that. That said, from the blue team, I've decided that I'd like Michael to be the captain. Well done, buddy. You got this. You got this, buddy. From the red team, Nick to be the captain. Let's go, baby. Nick. Hope you guys are ready for what you signed up for. Let's go. Car waits. Right, let's go to Osteria Mozza. Guys, about the memory. Remember everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. All the little stuff. Pay attention. attention. We believe in you. Drive carefully, Joe. All right, boys, let's go. My strategy is essentially to take as many notes as I can. I want to bring everything back to my team so that we can perfectly replicate what I see at Osteria Mozza. My overall strategy is to really take charge. I have my own business. When I build a house, I don't actually lift a hammer. I'm going to be managing everything. All right, boys, we're here. Here we go. Welcome to Osteria Mozza. Liz is the executive chef of the Osteria. 
This is Michael, captain of the blue team, yes. and Hi. Nick, Hello, captain of the red team. You. How are you, chef? Nice to meet you. Yep. So today, Liz will demonstrate and teach you how to make three of the signature dishes of Osteria Moza. Okay. Right, Liz? Yeah. First is a pasta course, the ricotta and egg raviolo with brown butter and sage. It's a very simple dish. It is just a pasta stuffed with ricotta filling. Awesome. and an egg yolk in the middle, and when you cut into it, the egg just ah, oozes right yeah. It has to ooze, though. So, we are going to start by making the filling for the raviolos. Start with the ricotta, which is dry, grano padano, dried grating cheese, and then you have nutmeg. We're gonna do just a few turns in there. It can be very sharp and pungent, so it's really a very small quantity. Now we're going to make the pasta dough. Two cups of just regular all-purpose flour. Isn't and this how your grandma did it? My grandmother still does Nona. it this way. She's 99. Oh, wow. wow. I think this is the most difficult challenge yet. But at the same time, making an Italian pasta dish from scratch is something that I did with my family growing up. And that's something that Joe and I share in common. This is your make or break time, OK? If you mess this up, you got to start over. The egg yolk, which is the star of this raviola, will nestle into the ricotta. The ricotta gets warm. The yolk warms up a little bit, but is still perfectly runny. The pasta dish is very simple. There's actually not very many ingredients. It's all about technique. What is the sauce for this pasta? Literally butter and sage. And we are browning the butter wow. and frying the sage in that butter. So as much as I feel confident in my own abilities to cook, can I communicate it to my team? I mean, this is basically a game of telephone. And see how bubbly it is and foamy? That's perfectly brown butter. Amazing. And Joe's going to garnish with some grana padano. And this is ready to serve. Go ahead, cut it open. Oh, wow. wow. That's what you're looking for. All right, second dish. This is? Lamb rack in a tahini and dried Persian lime marinade. The marinade is very simple and straightforward. So I'm going to start here with tahini, coriander, and smoked paprika. And that gives it really good color. You notice the quantity of the seasoning that she's using? A lot of salt. Oh, my gosh. I think if one of you two figured out how to season properly, you could probably win the whole competition. It's that important. Right. Hmm. So this takes at least seven minutes per side. Wow. So when you're cutting the lamb, you're following the bones. You want it to be as close to even as possible. Sure. Of course. For plating, just a little dollop of marinade, some broccolini, do a little cross with your lamb, and obviously the more attractive piece on top. Wow. Next, we are going to do the sea trout with the Umbrian lentils and the red cabbage sotaceto. You want the cabbage to be soft, but not mushy. OK. OK, so while the cabbage is cooking down, we're going to start our lentils. The lentils are tricky, right? Like, you get lentils around a lot, they're like mush. Bad. Bad. You want to feel each one under your teeth. This is Tasmanian sea trout. Salt the skin, but not pepper it. And in order to get evenly crispy skin, you hold it down. And if your finger slips, the skin will slide right off. You'll have like a bald fish. There's a lot of pressure here. It's me versus Michael trying to soak in as much information as we can. I have to be drawing diagrams. I have to be taking notes. It's sort of a crazy thing, because if the captain doesn't get the right information, then it's over, and we lose. Now I'm going to teach you an Italian Nona secret for real. You have to finish everything with olive oil. See, so adding fat will give it like a creamy, sheeny effect. All right, so here is really your moment of truth. Is your fish overcooked? Is your skin crispy? Is your skin still on the fish? Wow. I got really, really nice crispy skin here. Oh, sorry. We're going to wow. get that right on top. Take a little bit of the cabbage and Voila. That's it. Beautiful. Thank now, this you. is an Osteria Moza classic staple. This is not entry level, obviously, today. You have to become not only expert cooks, but cooking instructors when we head back to the MasterChef kitchen. You really have not made this easy on us. This is the first time I've actually felt really stressed in this competition. I don't know how I'm possibly going to pull this off. Best of luck. Liz, thank you. That was awesome. You're so thank welcome. You so much. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank, thank you, you so great. much. Michael just needs to get here. I'm ready to cook. Absolutely. I'm ready to soak up what he's got to throw down, man. No egos in the kitchen. Yeah. Nick's steering the ship. We all listen to Nick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 100%. Confident about your strategy? Yeah. Very. Who on your team are you worried about, Michael? I don't think I really have a worry right now, because I've kind of laid it out in a way that everybody has a role. You have any weak points on your team? If I am a good leader, I don't think I should have any weak points. I totally agree. 
It's time to get in there and teach your teams how to make the three-course Italian meal that you just saw. I want to see three dishes of each course. That's one per judge, nine in total. Okay. You will have one hour to pull this off. You better get moving, because your time starts now. Woo! Yo, guys, let's go! Reggie, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to see three dishes of each course. That's one per judge, nine in total. Okay. You will have one hour to pull this off. You better get moving, because your time starts now. Woo! Yo, guys, let's go! Right team, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna cut right to the chase here, okay? Okay. Clock is ticking. What's up, guys? Joe. Welcome back. How do you go, buddy? Good. All right. Good stuff, man. We spent a whole day with Joe at the restaurant. Okay. And um, we have three different recipes we're doing today, okay? Okay. Ricotta and egg raviolo, which has the raw egg inside. Second is a lamb rack that's marinated in a tahini and lime marinade with uh, grilled broccolini. The last dish is a sea trout. I'm breaking you guys up into teams. Sarah and Sherry, you guys are on pasta. This dish is extremely fragile. If you break the yolks, game over. The lamb dish, Noah and Liz, I know you can knock this one out of the park. Lamb, I mean, come on. Let's roll. That's you, right? Absolutely. The fish dish is the most complicated. I'm putting all three of you, but Dorian, I want you in charge. <laughs> Sam, you're actually going to be the one cooking the fish. And Suba, I have a good feeling you can handle some Absolutely. freaking lentils. Jamie, you're a big fish guy, right? Yes, sir. Do you want to take the lead on the fish? Absolutely. All right, let's do that. With Jamie, I do want to put Brie, who's got that really delicate plating ability. So there's a lentil nest on the bottom, fish on top, and then the cabbage on top. Of exactly, the OK? So Mike on the lentils, it's really fine knife work. But if you're comfortable with that, it's, it's brunoise. Nice. It's brunoise, yeah. I want the lamb station to be handled by Katora and Fred. And then the shallots, are they diced or sliced? Those are really finely kind of diced. And then we got Wuta and Renee on the ravioli. You want to boil it as long as it takes for the butter to brown. The grated Parmesan is it on top? Yeah, you just do a nice, nice microwave. Okay. I can help with that at the okay. end. In all honesty, is this kind of challenge too early for these amateurs? I really don't know. We've never done a challenge this difficult this early on with this many home cooks in the kitchen. We might be pushing the envelope, but season 10, this is the time to do it. Hey, guys, we're going to win this. Get in here. Get all in right, here. Absolutely. Let's kill it today. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go, guys. 50 minutes remaining. Let's go. Break. Start separating the eggs very carefully. We also need to get the ricotta strained in the cheese cloth. I'm feeling extremely strong right out of the gate after Mike explains all the recipes. How are we with the cabbage? Go a little thinner. A little tiny thinner. bit thinner. He's giving us out notes. I'm ready to go. Pick your lambs. Which lambs? I think these are the two best. I would say cut them all and see which get the most beautiful cuts. Absolutely. So for the brown butter, I have a whole stick of butter. Good. Uh, yeah, enough. you don't really have to cut it up like that if you don't want, but either way. Nick is taking complete charge and he's making sure that our flavors are exactly on point. I'm trusting the kid right now. All right, so it's got to be super salty. When you get a chance, Nick. Like, way saltier than you think. Nick, I need you at your earliest convenience. Everyone's calling my name and getting me to help clarify things, which is OK, because I couldn't have possibly put everything down on those pages. First, we cook the meat, and then let's grill this off. Right? Absolutely. That, that needs to rest. Absolutely. And this doesn't. Pasta dough, eh, whatever. I've done it before. It might not be perfect, but I can accomplish it. Renee, how's the dough? I'm getting it done. All right. Let's get in the fridge as soon as we can. Yep. So Nick made ravioli as a signature dish, which were very, very good. I think Nick has an edge, but I think Michael has the experience and the maturity to drive his team to victory. This is Joe's restaurant, so we are not sending anything out that looks like crap. Hey, we got 40 minutes. We got 40 minutes to go. So the jeopardy this evening is that one full team will be facing elimination. And the winning team will be safe on the balcony. Yes. I'm going to get the water on, Sarah. OK. Salty as the sea. I'm not worried about the pasta itself. I actually have a pasta maker at home. And instead of Play-Doh, my daughter and I make pasta. She rolls out the dough, and I'm cranking out actual pasta. It's looking good, Sarah. It looks good. Thank you. All right, Dawn, you got some cabbage in there? You want a little bit more? This is probably yeah, good. Yeah, probably plenty. Yeah. I'm going to add the balsamic in like three minutes. OK. OK, let those are going in. How you doing, Suba? Ah, good, good. So far, so good. I feel very comfortable cooking lentils. There's over 30 varieties of lentils in India, and I cook them all the time. Spatula, spatula, wherever spatula is. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Woo! The 
This looks awesome. My grandma taught me how to make a lamb roast when I was a kid, but I've never done a marinade like this, which makes me more excited because that's why I'm here, is to do things outside my comfort zone and to learn. Mike, taste this. Mm. Dead on? Delicious. A little more Perfect. salt? A little, it's not seasoned. I'll let you season it. We'll do your stuff and taste it. Taste, taste. Then I'm putting the lamb in it, so make sure it's good. Taste this. Boom. Yep. Nail it. Awesome. Remember, we're only doing four pieces of fish. Four that are the exact same four size. Four of the best pieces there. I've cooked fish hundreds, if not thousands of times. But I took the first piece of fish, slapped it in a hot pan, and the skin just slid right off. Right off the bat, that was kind of a bad omen. Sam, please let me know if you need any help. I, I really don't, but I, I want to fire more fish to practice. No cast iron? No. Stainless, 100%. It got to be piping hot. Yeah, I, I know. 30 minutes to go. We've got to get cooking, guys. Let's go. Right, Captain Nick, who's doing what? So we have Renee and Wuta up on pasta, and I'm kind of floating over here because it's kind of a tricky dish to do. OK, good. Who's doing the lamb? The lamb is that back row right there with Fred and Gatora. And then we got Bree, Jamie, and Micah on the fish. OK, yes, chef. keep it going. Thank you. Michael, how do you feel where you are right now? Oh, man, I think everybody's kicking ass. Noah and Liz are on the lamb. Dorian's in charge of the fish station. And Sarah and Sherry are on pasta. Everything tastes good. It's seasoned. So what about the pasta? When are you going to start rolling that out? Pasta's chilling. We got about four more minutes on the chill. OK. Who's cooking the lamb? I'm going to do it in the next few minutes. So what's the big issue with grilling it? Rendering fat. So be careful you don't burn it before you render it. OK. Hi, Joe. Hi, Ron. When are you going to start rendering this thing? Uh, I'm going to be putting it on in a minute, 30 seconds. Who's doing the brown butter? I'm doing the brown butter. OK, don't take it too dark, OK? OK. Make sure you know when that point is. Again, be careful. Taste it, yes? OK. Michael. Are you ready? No. I think it still needs another minute. That white okay. was getting a little higher last time I saw it, so don't move yet. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Give me a W. W. Give me an A. A. Give me a T. T. Give me an E. E. Give me an R. R. Water. Four. Pasta. Pasta. On. Oh. Oh, duh. my god. I had a really stupid moment. I apologize. Four. Pasta. On. Oh. Oh, duh. my god. Had a really stupid moment. I apologize. We're good. We're good. Let's get two. All right, Renee, go get the dough. I'm feeling good. I'm, I had a little bit of a dumb moment because I'm like, huh? With the water? <laughs> but hey, it's OK. You know, I'm getting it. The pasta is rested. Does that feel oh, good? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's really beautiful. What we need to see right now, gentlemen, is the captain's bean, less vocal and more hands-on. We can't have this much liquid in there, so I would figure out a way to get some of that out. Neither captain has cooked. They're walking around like a soccer coach, yelling at people. Right. Even go a tiny bit darker. More. They actually burnt them a little bit. OK, burn them. There's going to be a point that they're going to have to get in there and cook. Let's go, captains. Let's get in there. Let's get hands-on. My cutting board is moving way too much. I definitely need to focus the most on the pasta station. I think Renee is struggling a little bit with the dough. We don't want to fold it, right? Because we're just going to make it dry. This raviolo has to be perfect, so I have to jump in there and do it myself. The dough looks so pretty. It does. Nice job. You, you did a really good job with it. Use the eggs as a guide, because that's about the size of the yolk. Sure. So we're going to have room for about two plus the top. OK. So Wuta, when we go brown butter, I want to do like two or three pans just to make sure we're totally good on it, right? Okay. Because if it burns, we're totally screwed with one of them. So let's do like three. Okay. 15 minutes remaining. Let's go, guys. Speed up, please. I actually don't think that you said it enough, if I'm being very honest with you. Okay, then put them I back don't like on the, this. Put them back on the grill, then. Yeah, I'll yeah, let you be the lamb master, okay? I want Nick to come to the back a little bit more and check on the lamb, because I know how to make lamb, but I don't know how to make lamb to Australia Mozza's standards. Nick! One sec, one sec. He does seem to be quite preoccupied with the pasta station, but I do need him to give me a little bit more guidance. That's We're like, that's rare. Salt everywhere. Salt everywhere, pepper, only yep. the non-skin yep, side. Yep. Okay. I'm confident about the fish. I know what pieces we're going to use. I got one job, and that's to make sure that fish comes out perfect. I mean, I'm the fish guy. 
So pressure's on at this point, big time. All right, what do we need? We don't need Lentils anything. are good? Lentils are good. Why aren't you just using that top part there? The top part is just going to become the lid. Yeah, I know, but they're rolling more stuff out there.